Hello everyone. In the previous videos, we created the SMA crossover strategy. We created a long set on a short set. Now in today's video, we'll learn the about the universal exit. We'll also look at a few settings from the advanced setting that will make uh, it clear as to how we have to go about it. Now in universal exit, we'll just click on add, and here we'll put a time condition. Let's say time greater than number 1500 so what this essentially does is whenever the time is greater than 3 o'clock or past 3 o'clock the strategy will exit now you have noticed that each set has a set exit now set exit will exit the position of this set itself say as it says exit all the position in this set similarly for set 2 the set exit will exit the positions taken in set 2 and but what universal exit does is it will exit the positions taken in the entire strategy. So let's say in set exit uh, in entry of set one we have taken five positions, and in set two we have taken uh, let's say five positions. Now both the set exit conditions are not satisfied. So at three o'clock all the ten open positions will be squared off. And after those ten positions are squared off, the counter of the strategy will change. Now counter is essentially changed whenever the universal exit is hit. So ideally you can have one counter for each day. So at the start in the morning, all the trades will happen and at three o'clock the strategy will exit. It will show the exited status in the deployed page and the counter will change from one to two or two to four. So each day will have a due counter and you can keep track of each counter. So basically it will help you in finding out if a strategy is profitable or not over the months. So if we have 22 trading days, you can have 22 counters each counter representing each day. Now in advanced setting, there are two things we can uh, cover. The first thing is reactivate on exit. So let's say at 3 o'clock a universal exit is triggered. Now your strategy status will be exited. Now once the status is exited, how do you change it to live or active? Now to change it to active, there are two ways. One is you can go to the deployed page and click on reactivate. Other is let the strategy automatically reactivate, which is the easier one. All you need to do is instead of reactivate and exit as never, you need to select as 12 hours. So basically after three o'clock, it will count till 12 hours and the strategy will become in active status. So you do not need to manually intervene and, you know, actually click on the reactivate button. It will automatically become active and it will start checking condition. Now, when will it start checking condition that depends on the take trades. So take trades, we have selected at 2 minutes and our NSE market opens at 9.15. So from 9.17, the conditions are checked. Similarly, the last condition check before exchange is 2 minutes. So from before 3.28, the conditions are checked. So the range is between basically from 9.17 to 3.28. If you want, you can change it and make it 1 second and here you can make it to 1 minute. So here the condition itself will be checked at 9.15 onwards. It is recommended that you keep at least one minute so that all the at least the first one minute candle is formed. Now one more thing that we can cover is the capital required. Capital required is an arbitrary number which you can change as per your choice. So if you feel like the strategy takes let's say 50,000 capital, you can keep it as 50,000. That's about it in this video. Stay tuned.